Hi guys, so today I'm doing a old Hollywood, like, 1920s, dark, black and white film inspired look. And if you guys want to know how to achieve this, please keep watching. Okay, so before I get started, I want to address my lips because I've already done them. And what I did before we even started this, because I was prepping on blog TV and I did... I did this makeup on blog TV and what I did was I mixed NSFW this is all obsessive compulsive I mixed NSFW uh, Tarde and RX which is the red the blue and the black uh, lip tars from obsessive compulsive so to begin with I put my Too Faced shadow insurance on my lid as a base and I'm going to take my 224 all almost all the colors that I'm using for this look it's from my 88 palette so you could totally achieve this if you have this if not just you know use different colors so I'm mixing this purple and this purple and I'm gonna start with the crease of my eye and just circular motions and swirl that on and just build up the color so I'm going to keep going and I'm move it upward as well and just keep building the color up. I'm going to use this white that's up on the top and I'm going to blend this out upward. It's my um, 219, my MAC 219. I'm going to take the black from the 88 palette and I'm going to create the outer V and sweep it upward into my crease and bring it upward above my crease. Now I'm going to go back again with my 224 and I'm going to fluff that out so it's not so harsh. And you could kind of use this look for any like inspiration for many different things like uh, just thinking about it right now it also makes me think about um, Hel Helena Bonham Carter in uh, Sweeney Todd a little bit as Mrs. Lovitz there's so many different dark characters that you could use for this look now I'm gonna go in with my um, my 239 go back with that white color and just set it right here just to brighten that up a little bit more and I'm going to um, get I'm going to use NYX's um, Pearl Mania and I'm using white and I'm gonna set that with my 239 right here and bring that over that white You really want to accentuate this, your tear duct. Now, I did a little bit of shading right here on the opposite side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 224 again. And I'm going to mix this purple right here a little bit and then the pink up here. And I'm just going to follow where the hollow is right here. Just lightly dust that on. I'm gonna get a little bit of product off. And just dust that on just to accentuate right there. I'm going to put white eyeliner in my waterline. And I use Rimmel's um, Soft Coal, which I absolutely love because I think it works so well. I'm going to go in with my 272 and I'm just going to add more of that white eyeshadow that was in that's in the 88 palette and place it underneath here. Pencil brush. This one's from Sephora just because the other one has black product on it and I don't want the black just now yet. You're going to use a little bit of black but not right now. 
So I'm starting right where the V ends, go like a little bit underneath where you ended that white eyeshadow and just sweep it across. And that's where you're going to place those bottom lashes. I'm just using this right now as reference to where I'm going to place those lashes and just build up the color because it's going to be very dramatic. Now I'm going to go back with my 224 and I'm going to grab some more of that purple and that pink that I used in here and I'm going to shade underneath here. And sweep it up over here and you're gonna bring pull that down the pencil I'm using is benefit and it's bag gal lash and it doesn't need to be 100% precise we're just gonna smoke it up it doesn't need to be like a cat eye like I usually do I'm going to smudge this eyeliner a little bit and then I'm going to use a little of black eyeshadow to set it. So I'm using, um, for my bottom lashes I am using red cherry and they're the 501 in their bottom lashes so I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna use my lash grip and I'm gonna place them under where that area is where I indicated where they're gonna go I'm going to use these are also um, red cherry they don't look like it they're just different packaging and these are the 102's I'm gonna place those on my top uh, lash line Okay, so now that those bottom lashes have set a little bit, I'm going to go back with my pencil brush, my MAC one, and I'm going to put black eyeshadow and just accentuate that line because I know where it's set now. And meet it up with your upper V, your V, outer V. If you want things to be a little more dramatic, you could go ahead and add more of the um, purple and pink eyeshadow, which I'm going to do right now, just to, because I know where the lashes end now. Now lastly, what I want to do is I want to further, um, I already put blush on here, and I use the blush from my Coastal Scents palette, and I used this color right here, yeah. This color right here, which is a purple tone. You can, let me see if I can angle it to make it true. So that's, it's a little bit more of a purple tone. And I use that already on my cheeks. Now I want to um, do my highlight. And what I use to highlight is my 109. And I'm going to use the white from my Coastal Sense Contour and Highlight Palette. And I'm going to take it in right where the highlight would be. Just... Place it right there, just to accentuate it. And then I'm going to take my Skin Lights that I always use, and I'm going to give it a little bit more of a shimmer to give it more of a dewy look. And just sweep it over, just like so. So, this is pretty much it for my inspired look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it because I had a lot of fun doing it. Um... Let me know what you think, and thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.